up you guys and welcome back. So I just posted a video yesterday and I saw a few of you request that I pick up some of the new Victoria's Secret holiday collections. I just got back from the mall today. I think I pretty much saw all the new collections. I think there are three or four new holiday collections. I ended up picking up a few of them. I did have a couple to exchange from a collection that I purchased a few weeks ago. I also went into pink because they also have new holiday scents. I went into Bath and Body Works. There's just so much new stuff and we're gonna get into all of it. This is definitely gonna be a first impressions. I just very quickly smelled the stuff in store. I don't really have an idea of all of these scents just yet, so I'm just gonna be trying them out and telling you guys my first initial thoughts on them. I also went into Walmart and I found some of the new stuff from Dove. So yeah, grab a snack. It's probably gonna be a long video. I will also have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below as well if you guys are not already following me on there. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already for more videos like this and let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off. Actually, real quick, we'll go ahead and start off with the stuff that I got from Walmart. In my last video, I talked about the new Dove body care. I was really excited for that collection and my store did not have the scrubs last week whenever I went. So I just popped in today and they had all the stuff out. So I grabbed the scrubs that I wanted. I got the peppermint bark one and I also grabbed the cinnamon pumpkin pie. They also had the sugar cookie, but if you guys watched the last video, I wasn't really impressed with the sugar cookie body wash. I did smell the scrub in store and it smelled a little bit stronger than the body wash, but still it just, it wasn't doing it for me. At least what I could smell from the tub. I just ended up grabbing these two and this one, the cinnamon pumpkin pie, it smells a lot like the body wash. Maybe like a little bit more cinnamon coming from the scrub, but I still think it smells really good. Let me see how much these were. Uh, so these were $6.97 each and here is the peppermint bark one. This one smelled really good. This one, it smells exactly like Thin Mint cookies. You get the chocolate and the mint, just very sweet gourmand, perfect for the holidays. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a shower routine using some of those soon. So I just grabbed the scrubs today. I know I mentioned I was wanting to get the bar soaps, but I'm still kind of holding off for now since I did buy so much body care today. Okay, sorry, I had to take a quick break before I got started. Now let's finally get into all the new mists that I picked up. So there are so many collections. I think there are three or four new ones. I'm kind of late to all the collections out, so even some of the past fall collections, I still hadn't had a chance to try. So there is so much new stuff. Right now, currently, there is a deal where you can get the mist for $8, but you have to buy at least five in order to get that deal. So it's like five for 40, which is not the best deal, but I wanted to try out a lot of these new scents. So I just went ahead and did it. I did have a couple mists to exchange, so I got quite a few. I was going back and forth in store to try to find which ones I really want to get because I am trying to be more picky about what scents I bring into my collection, but at the same time, I wanna try them all that way I can let you guys know. Let's start off with one of the newest collections. It's this like wintery collection. I don't know what it's called. I was looking on the website to try to find what the names are, but there's also so many collections that it gets hard to keep up with everything. I did smell almost everything that was available in store. I think there was just maybe one or two mists that my store was missing. I picked up at least one scent from each collection. So this first one, the Wintry Collection, it's kind of cute actually. Like the packaging is very simple, but it looks like snowfall here on the bottles. I only grabbed fragrance mist. I didn't grab any lotions. I just have so many lotions, body creams, like everything in my collection. So I'm really only buying lotions if I really, really love the scent. So let's start off with the ones that I didn't end up getting. So the first one that I ended up passing on is Snowdrift. That's the one in the hot pink packaging. And always when I see that, I already know it's a winter berry scent and that's exactly what this one is. It's frozen berries and jasmine. I can definitely see that one being a very popular scent. I know a lot of people love the mixed berries. It's just a very popular fragrance note, especially during this time of year. I don't know what it is, but I'm usually not really a fan of those type of scents. I love berry scents, but I prefer more of a gourmand's berry. I love strawberry, blueberry, sometimes raspberry if it's really sweet, but the mixed berries, like when it's kind of like a tart, like fruity berry, I'm just not really into it for some reason. So I ended up passing on that one. And the other one that I skipped out on is the one in the purple packaging called Night Sip and that is Violet Petals and Champagne. Surprisingly, I thought that one smelled pretty good. It also had a toasted cedarwood note. I thought it was very woody, just a very cozy winter scent. If you love your woody florals, I think you would enjoy that one. The Violet Petals, I could really smell. It was more of like a powdery floral, but surprisingly, I didn't mind that one. So I was kind of torn between getting that one 
and this one in Sun Slope, which is more like a coconut scent. I ended up going with this one. This was the last one that I chose because, you know, I needed to pick at least five. So this was my last choice and I actually really like this one. So we'll start off with this one, Sun Slope. This is Icy Coconut and Amber. It's described as a woody gourmand. It also has a warm musk note. You know how... Victoria's Secret doesn't always list all the notes. So that's why I was like looking on the website to get a full description of the scent. And I have to say, this smells like something that I already have in my collection. I want to say last year, either from Victoria's Secret or Pink, they came out with a frosted kind of icy coconut scent. And I think that's what I'm thinking of whenever I smell this. This is like a real coconut. It's not really like a coconut cream but it does have this nice sweetness to it that I really like. And somehow they capture that cooling effect. Like I smell this and I smell more like an iced coconut scent. It's very light, very airy, nothing too heavy at all. Like not like an overly creamy coconut scent. But there's something about this that I do enjoy. It does have that amber note in there, but I feel like that icy coconut note really takes over and the amber note is just kind of hidden there in the background. I mean, for me, I love coconut scents, so I do enjoy this one, but I will say it is kind of basic. There are scents out there that smell similar to this one. If you love coconut scents, then you'll probably like that one. I have a lot of summery coconut scents and those are a lot sweeter, more like toasted. And like I said, this one's just like a lot lighter, like more like a fluffier type of scent. Okay, the next one that I grabbed is Frost Melt and I knew whenever I saw this, I was very excited to try it just because this is like the more gourmand one from the collection. So Frost Melt is a sweet gourmand. It has notes of fresh mint, hot chocolate, and whipped pistachio. I did not know about that pistachio note because it's not listed here on the label, but that just makes it even better. I was very eager to try this one. I just thought, you know, this is something different for Victoria's Secret. I feel like this is a scent that we would maybe get from like Bath and Body Works, but Victoria's Secret usually sticks with like the fruity florals. Their gourmands are usually just like with vanillas and stuff. So to have like a chocolatey note, I was just very excited to try. And I mean, this kind of smells exactly what I expected it to. It smells like thin mint cookies. It has that nice chocolatey note in there, but it's nothing like too heavy. Like this is a very wearable gourmand in my opinion and i'm not even someone who loves really minty fragrances and it's just reminding me of thin mint cookies i always put my thin mint cookies in the freezer and this has that kind of cool note to it so it just reminds me of like frozen thin mint cookies like how i eat them the chocolate is almost like a little bit powdery it reminds me of like hot cocoa mix for some reason but you can really smell that minty note i want to see like how it actually smells on my skin because I've only sprayed it on the little tester card. Ooh, this is really good. Whenever I compare it to the Dove Peppermint Bark, they're not the exact same. This has a much richer chocolate smell to it. It's just like a little bit heavier just on both the chocolate and the peppermint. This is so much lighter, which I think makes it a lot more wearable and a fragrance. I don't think it's going to be for everyone. I mean, if you like twisted peppermint, anything like that, like if you like those more minty notes, then I think you would like this one. It smells really good to me. The pistachio, I wish I could smell that a little bit more. I could smell like a tiny bit of like something nutty, almost a little bit toasted, which I think kind of adds to the more like gourmand feel from this. And that just reminds me, let me grab it real quick. I literally just got this yesterday, I think. It's one of the new Mimic perfumes. Well, actually, I don't know if it's new, but it has to be because it's duping a pretty new scent. I've never seen this one before. It's the number 57. It's like in this minty packaging and it says a blend of pistachio and tonka woods. I don't know exactly for sure what this is supposed to be duping, but whenever I smelled this, my mind immediately went to the Kaoli Yum like pistachio gelato scent. I found it at Marshalls for 19 bucks. This was the 3.4 ounce bottle. So a lot cheaper than like the full size Kaoli one. I love the Kaoli brand, but you know, it is always nice to get a dupe. And I just have the travel version of the pistachio scent. I know that perfume got a lot of mixed reviews. I personally, I wasn't really a huge fan of it whenever I first tried it, but I'm not gonna lie. That scent has kind of grown on me. So I was considering maybe getting a full size bottle, but now I guess I don't have to because I have this one. Possibly I could layer these two together. I'm gonna spray them again together to see how it smells. So I did a little bit of the mist and now the perfume. Ooh, the combination really brings out the pistachio because this, you can really get that 
more like nutty notes. If you could find this one, or maybe if you have like the Kaoli perfume, you could try layering those two together. But even just this on its own, it smells great. If you don't want to add that pistachio note and just kind of want to keep with the minty chocolatey scent, then this is fine on its own. I really, really enjoy it. Very unique to my collection. I do have a couple other minty scents from Bath & Body Works. So I have a couple that are similar to this, but this is like unique in its own way. I'm very happy with that one. I really like that one. I have so many fragrance mists to go through. This is going to be a long video. I already know. Let's go ahead and move on to this next one here. I don't know what this collection is called either. I don't think I know the names to any of these. But in this collection, there are a total of four scents. I only tried three of them. My store did not have the Vanilla Amber Bourbon, which I would have loved to try because I love Vanilla Bourbon scents. Has notes of Vanilla Amber, Smooth Bourbon, and Orchid Petals. I'm kind of thinking maybe like the Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon, something like that. And I did try all the other ones. So I ended up passing on the Ginger Apple Jewel. That is Bright Ginger, Musky Apple, and Tart Cranberry. That was an immediate pass for me. I smelled a lot of that ginger note and I just wasn't a fan of it. The other one is Sugar Plum Fig and that is Sugared Fig, Cinnamon Orange, and Delicate Rose. I can't even remember exactly what that one smelled like even though I just smelled them like a few hours ago. I think it was the cinnamon note that I wasn't really a fan of. So yeah, I left those behind and the one that I did end up grabbing is this one in Suntel Berry Silk. This has an espresso note. I didn't know about any of these. So all of these were brand new of reading the notes and everything in store. So let's see what it says here. This is a fruity, woody scent. It has frothy sandalwood, blackberry espresso, and almond. I don't think I have anything with the blackberry espresso note. Yeah. I mean, if you love coffee scents, then I think you would enjoy this one. It's, I'm kind of wondering, I don't think I have it near me or else I would grab it but like black opium maybe. I need to pull out more of my perfumes because I don't have all of my perfumes on display anymore, but I'm wondering how that compares. I have one of the flinkers of black opium. I don't have the original, but the espresso note is really, really shining through. I smell it a lot. As far as like the berries, I think I get a hint of some type of fruitier note, but it is kind of overpowered by that espresso note in here. I think this one is very unique. Like, I don't think I have any other scent like this, especially from Victoria's Secret. I'm gonna have to see how this one wears throughout the day, but I already know I have so many other coffee scents in my collection. I have a few from Bath & Body Works. And usually when I go for a coffee scent, I like pairing it with something creamy and sweet. I just love the combination of coffee and sweet cream. I always like adding marshmallow notes or just like a creamy vanilla. So this I know I could pair with a lot of things. Maybe even the vanilla mocha cream. I think that's what it was called from last year from Bath & Body Works. That could even work with this as well. Yeah, if you love a coffee note in your fragrance, then I think this one at least is worth trying out. I don't know if it would be a safe blind buy, but if you have a store near you, I would suggest maybe trying that one out. Okay, so let's move on to the other collections. And these are the Flanker collections. One is newer, it's the new Candied collection. And you know with the Flankers, they always do like the originals from the core line, like Bare Vanilla, Velvet Petals, Love Spell, and Pure Seduction. Even though I'm not really a fan of Pure Seduction and Love Spell, I do actually like a lot of the Flankers. From the Candied collection, I didn't end up picking up Love Spell or Pure Seduction. Um, Love Spell has Peach Gumdrop, Crystallized Nougat, and Candied Cherry. I did not know about the Candied Cherry note, but I do remember it being very fruity, just like how Love Spell usually is. It wasn't a bad scent, I just, compared to some of the others, I just ended up passing on that one. They also had Pure Seduction Candied, which has Plum Swirl and Sweet Musk. I think Plum is like the note in the original. Pure Seduction, so they always use Plum in a lot of the flankers. But yeah, I'm sorry, I can't really remember exactly what those smelled like. I remember them being both fruity. I don't remember if they end up smelling like other ones that I have or have tried before, but I just know I didn't grab those. I ended up going for Velvet Petals Candied, just based off the notes, really. I barely even smelled this one in store, so I'm hoping that it's good. I love the original Velvet Petals, and I love a lot of the flankers. Okay, so it's described as a floral gourmand with caramel ribbon, glazed petals, and nutty praline. I'm so excited for this one. Ooh, and the packaging too. It's pretty, it just reminds me of like holiday packaging with the like silver sparkles all around it. It is kind of basic, like just that gradient look that they do with a lot of the fragrance mist. It is kind of pretty. I like that it's pink, but, but let's see what this smells like. And already I'm a little unsure. Okay, this is 
different than I expected. I was expecting something very sweet, especially with notes like caramel, glazed petals. I mean, I'm for sure getting a lot of florals and there's something kind of fruity. Even though there's no fruity notes listed, I would have thought this was like a sweet, fruity floral. I can understand the glazed petals because I smell more of like a sugary floral scent, but the caramel is nowhere <laughs> to be found. Like I do not smell any caramel in this. I don't even think it really smells a lot like the original. I'm very confused by this scent. I was expecting to love this one honestly, and now I'm kind of upset that I didn't smell it more in store because if I did, I probably would have left this one behind. This one might be my least favorite so far. Wow, I am really surprised. If you guys have tried this one, let me know if you smell something fruity, because I swear I do, and I'm not picking up on any type of caramel notes. So I'm kind of disappointed by that one, I'm not gonna lie. I almost placed an order online last night, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go in store, that way I can try stuff. And that was one of the first ones that I threw into my cart, just based off the fragrance notes. So far, not really enjoying that one, but let's go ahead and test out Bare Vanilla Candied. Bare Vanilla is one of my favorites, so I'm hoping this one doesn't let me down because the notes on this one sounded really good too. It is a fruity gourmand. It has notes of strawberry sprinkles and marshmallow flower and of course warm vanilla. And I don't think I've ever seen a strawberry note in any of the Bare Vanilla Flankers. So this is some of my favorite combinations like strawberry, marshmallow, vanilla all in one. Ooh, this is a nice light pretty scent. I'm gonna spray this one a little bit on me that way I can smell a little bit more. Okay, I do think this one smells good. I wish the strawberry was a little bit stronger because I'm picking up more on the vanilla. The marshmallow adds this nice airy, fluffy type of feel to it. It's like a little bit sweet, but not too much. And I'm already trying to think of what other scents I can layer with it. And I think something like strawberry snowflakes would really help bring out that strawberry note, but not overpower the scent. Like if you did like strawberry pound cake, that would just completely take over this because this is much lighter. Definitely keep that in mind because this one is for sure on the lighter side. Like I don't, I don't really know how long this one would last. I just wish there was more strawberry and a little bit more marshmallow too. Has this like sugary sweetness to it, but definitely compared to the Velvet Petals Candied, I like this one so much more. I think another thing to keep in mind though with this Bare Vanilla is if you already have a lot of Bare Vanilla Flankers in your collection, then this might not be a must have, even though I think it smells good, it could maybe be something you could go without. I would suggest try in store. I mean, I would suggest that all the time with any of these scents if you can, but there is something that I really like about this one. I will definitely be trying it out with strawberry snowflakes soon because I'm curious to see how they would smell together. But so far, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's dog out there. He's like barking. That's the only bad thing about this new room is I'm kind of towards the front of the house and I do live off a busier road. So I feel like there's always noise outside. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next collection. I'm pulling it up here on my phone, um, which is the Cashmere collection. I'm pretty sure this one's been out for a little while. I think it was like a fall collection, but I had never tried it before. So they were all new to me whenever I went in. And again, it's like the core four. You got Bare Vanilla, Velvet Petals, Pure Seduction, and Love Spell. And the only one that I ended up leaving behind is Bare Vanilla Cashmere. As much as I love Bare Vanilla, there was something about that one that I just, I didn't like for some reason. It is a floral gourmand. It has notes of plush patchouli vanilla orchid. For me, I smelled a lot of the patchouli. I think that's what it was. I will say I smelled it very quickly in store, so maybe it's a little bit better. Maybe I should have tried it a little bit more. If you guys have, let me know your thoughts on it. But just like my very first quick impressions of that, I, I wasn't really a fan of it. So we're gonna start off with Pure Seduction Cashmere. I already kind of forgot what these smelled like. I was smelling so many different things in store. So it's kind of hard to remember all of these. The packaging also with this collection, really pretty. You know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the La Creme collection. If you guys remember that one, I think it's been out for like two years now. I can't believe it's been that long, but that was one of my favorite collections. The packaging is so pretty. And this one kind of reminds me of that collection. So Pure Seduction Cashmere, this is a fruity floral. You know, Pure Seduction, like a fruit punch scent. It's so fruity and sweet. So always the flankers are always really, really sweet. This one has notes of whipped meringue and decadent berries. Okay, it doesn't have any other notes listed. It just has what's here on the back. Oh my gosh. Let me spray this one again. You guys, this, 
This smells so good. I really like this. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the original Pure Seduction, this smells delicious. It does say decadent berries and I think that's spot on. It is very, very sweet, like almost like a syrupy sweet. And I'm kind of getting more of like strawberry, like a little bit of raspberry because there's this slight kind of tart note to it, but overall just really, really sugary, syrupy sweet. And that whipped meringue note is such a nice touch. It just adds to that sugary sweetness, just very light. Ooh, I really like this one. This one I think has been my favorite that I've tried so far. There was another Pure Seduction scent that I really, really like. It might have been the Lux Collection. I think that one was with the strawberry notes. So kind of slight similarities there if I'm thinking of the right flanker. And when I think of fall winter berry scents, like this is what I want. I don't really like like the frosted mixed berry note. I like something sweet like this. I just think of red juicy berries, almost like a strawberry jam maybe, kind of almost candy-like, just very gourmand and sweet. I really enjoy this one. If I had to pick out a matching lotion to any of these, I would probably grab this one, but I know I can find something in my collection to layer along with this. Okay, now I'm excited to try some of the others. So let's go ahead and try out, I think we'll go ahead and try out the Love Spell. And the packaging of this one is really pretty too. Okay, so this is a fruity floral, has notes of rich nectarine and fluffy marshmallow. That sounds delicious. I remember now why I picked this one up because of that marshmallow note. This one's really nice. You can smell like the nectarine, like very fruity forward whenever you first spray it. But that marshmallow note is there. Almost kind of smells like a peach candy, but with some added floral notes mixed in there. I'm not sure exactly what other florals would be in here, but it is described as a fruity floral, and I can definitely pick up on that. It does have this nice sugary sweetness to it, and I would say the description of fluffy marshmallow is pretty spot on. It does have this like fluffy light smell to it. It's not anything heavy at all. So if anything with this one, I wish I could smell the marshmallow a bit more because I am smelling more of like the fruits whenever you first spray it. The smell from the rich nectarine just kind of takes over a little bit. It's still like a sugary sweet scent, but I just wish I could smell the marshmallow a little bit more. But I do have a few other marshmallow lotions, like marshmallow-like scents. So I'm sure if I layered it up with like a sweeter lotion, I would probably like this one a little bit more. I just wish on its own, I could smell the marshmallow more, you know, without having to layer it something else. So the last one from the Cashmere collection is Velvet Petals Cashmere, and this packaging is so pretty also. I think this one is one of my favorites out of all the new collections. Okay, so Velvet Petals Cashmere is, um, is a vanilla gourmand, already on board just from that. Has notes of toasted sugar and blonde wood. Okay, I really don't remember what this one smells like either. I think I grabbed this one pretty fast just based off the toasted sugar note. Already I can tell I like the Velvet Petals Cashmere over the candied version. Like this. Yeah, I already know I'm not really a fan of that. It does have this sugary sweetness. And it really does smell like toasted sugar. It has this warmth to it. It does smell a little bit floral because of that like original Velvet Petals DNA, but it's done in a very, very sweet way. A little bit woody too, but nothing too much. It's all very light blended together, which I really enjoy. I would just describe this as a pretty scent. Like whenever I smell this, it's just very soft, delicate. There's nothing overpowering about this scent, you know? Like you don't smell a ton of the woods. It's not overly sweet. It's just overall like a lighter blend of all the notes, if that makes sense. And the more I'm smelling it, the sweeter that it smells. So I'm thinking that as I'm wearing it and as it dries down more, the sweeter that it's gonna get. Yeah, smelling this one, I would have thought this is Velvet Petals Candied because it has that toasted sugary note to it. I like this one. If you like softer florals and those like hints of sweeter notes mixed in there, I definitely think that one is worth trying, which I think maybe a lot of you have already tried it because it has been out for a bit. Okay, the last two that I got are from another older collection. I think this one's been out for at least a month now. This collection is full of like ruby reds, all very pink and red. I remember when I first saw this collection, I was immediately drawn to it because of all the colors. And this is called the Fuchsia Fantasy Collection, I'm pretty sure. So I did grab two here. The first one is Sugar Blur. This one is a fruity gourmand. It has notes of vanilla sugar, bright amber, and sheer raspberry. So I'm gonna quickly just go over these because I think these have been out for a little while. I think this is a nice scent. Like it's just kind of right there in the middle for me. I wish I could smell more of the vanilla sugar. Like whenever I read that, I thought it more of like cotton candy, just very candy-like and sweet. And 
I mean, this is like barely sweet. It has that hint of raspberry in there. The raspberry is a little bit tart. So I think the mixture of the raspberry with the vanilla sugar, it kind of balances each other out where it's not like overly tart and sour. You know what I mean? It's just very, very, very light. I wish it was stronger. Like this one, I could already tell, like I would put this on. It would probably begin to fade after an hour of wearing it. The packaging though is super cute. I love the color of this one. The other one that I grabbed is Berry Spill. This one's in the pretty red packaging. And this actually has a strawberry note in here. The packaging on these lotions, like the matching lotions is so pretty. I'm looking at them on the website and it just has like strawberries all over the packaging. It has a little print of the fruit here on the label here on the front. But other than that, it's just pretty much all one solid color. Berry Spill, it's a fruity scent with juicy strawberry, blood orange, and blonde woods. I'm pretty sure there is another scent where there is a strawberry and orange combination. Or maybe I'm thinking of raspberry and orange, I'm not sure. Now this is super juicy and fruity, I can see. Like it actually says here on the scent description, fruity fruity. Like usually it'll say like fruity floral or something. This one just says fruity fruity. I can definitely see that because it is so juicy, like very, very juicy sweet. But when they said juicy strawberry, I'm really, really getting that. Not really like a gourmand strawberry, like in a strawberry pound cake, nothing like that. It just smells more of like a fruit juice. And I'm glad that I can smell more of the strawberry over the blood orange. I'm not sure what scent I have, but I'm pretty sure I've tried something with the blood orange note and I wasn't really into it. So I'm glad that the strawberry just kind of takes over. I'm sure I could find some other perfumes, maybe even like Burberry Her or something to layer along with this. I'm glad I got this one. That one smells really good actually. Those are all the fragrance mists that I got. I did grab one body oil. This one I grabbed a little while ago. They were having some type of sale and I grabbed the Coconut Milk and Rose Body Oil. These are kind of new, and I love the Coconut Milk scent. I have the, I think I have almost the whole line from this scent. This one and the Almond and Oat Milk one, I think are my two favorites, yeah. And this smells just like the rest of the body care. I don't know why whenever I bought this, I'm just seeing body oil here, but I thought this was a hair oil too. Maybe I got it mixed up with another product. But either way, I can always mix this into my lotions or use these out of the shower. And speaking of the almond scent, sorry, I don't mean to be all over the place, but it just reminded me whenever I thought of that almond and oat milk scent, I could probably layer with this Suntel Berry Silk because of that espresso note. I think the combination of the oat milk with this could maybe smell good. I'm definitely gonna have to try out that combination. Let's see, I think that's everything that I got from Victoria's Secret. And here, I just got a couple pairs of panties because I had coupons for free panties. I also got a couple accessories because right now all the accessories are buy one, get one half off. And if you guys don't know, I collect these wristlet keychains. Like they're my favorites. I love the rhinestone ones. So I got this new red one. It is so pretty for Christmas. It's just like covered in rhinestones and it just has VS, like the Victoria's Secret logo. So I picked up one for myself and I picked up a few others for my friends. So I'm gonna have to give those to them tomorrow. I did also get one other thing from Pink because they also had a little sale going on. I mean, it wasn't that great. They were $10 each, but I really wanted to try it and just throw it in this video for you guys. So I grabbed the new Warm and Cozy Bubbly. Okay, yeah, there are four Bubbly scents. There's the Fresh and Clean, the Cool and Bright, and light and happy, which I think some of those are new. And they didn't have testers out for everything, so I wasn't able to try all of them, but luckily they had the warm and cozy because based off the notes, whenever I was just looking up on the website last night, this was the one that I really, really wanted to try. It has a fizzy raspberry, creamy vanilla, and cotton candy. I love the original. <gasps> there is no thing on here. Oh no. I'm definitely gonna have to take this one back. I'm pressing down on my hand here to see if I can get any of that. Okay, I got a little bit. But yeah, the whole little nozzle part is missing. I actually went into the mall today. I never really go into the mall. I prefer the standalone stores, like just in the little shopping centers and stuff. So I might go see if I can take it back to another location. I can't really get much out of this, but from what I do remember, whenever I smelled it in store, it did have that strong kind of, almost kind of like a champagne note because of the fizzy raspberry which usually I don't really go for. But because of the creamy vanilla and the cotton candy note, it really sweetens it up. I personally, I don't think it really smells like the original. Yeah, this is definitely different enough than the original, which I really like, because sometimes some of the flankers can smell too close to the original and it just defeats the purpose. And even now, just spraying the little that I did on my hand, 
Like the more it's drying down, the more that fizzy note from the raspberry is kind of going away, which I don't mind. I actually really like that, and I prefer that cotton candy note to come out a little bit more. So it is very sugary sweet, almost like a candied version of warm and cozy once you get past that bubbly fizzy note. They do have this new spice of vanilla that is vanilla woods, cardamom, and coconut flakes. The store I went to did not have that one. I maybe would have picked that one up because that one sounds really good. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I can try that one in store. They also have an iced coconut, which I think they've had that one before. It's frozen coconut, chilled air, and sweet cream. Or I might be thinking of coconut ice from last year. That I think had a sweet cream note and I might be getting those mixed up. Or this one might be a whole new scent, I'm not sure. But maybe when I go back to exchange this one, I'll go to a different store and see if they have some of these other scents out already. Now we're on to the very last bag. I didn't get any new fragrances from Bath & Body Works, but I did wanna check out the new pocket bags. They have all the Christmas stuff out. It is so magical in that store right now. Like if I had a huge Christmas budget, I would definitely go crazy with all the wallflower plugins and all the little decor in there. I grabbed two out of the three pocket back holders that I really wanted. The other one that I wanted was sold out at the store I went to. I did order it from another store, so I just have to go pick it up. The one I really want is the gingerbread with a little hot cocoa. That one looks so cute. But that one sold out real quick because the store that I went to, I think I just put it out maybe earlier this week and they're already all gone. So the first little one that I got you guys can see it's a little boba. It is so cute. I love the colors with the lime green and the pink. The pink is so pretty. It's the prettiest shade of baby pink. It's actually more of like a bubblegum pink. So the pocket back that I got to go along with it is Twisted Peppermint, mainly because I like the packaging. I just love the color of Twisted Peppermint this year. I just got this one today just to match because I thought that looked so cute together. And these were for $6.95. So I grabbed that one and I also grabbed this cinnamon roll one, which I love. I think this one's adorable also. This one too was for $6.95. You guys might have seen this one already because I think this was one of the first ones to come out with the holiday stuff, but it was just too cute to pass up. And I had this one from last year, the ice cinnamon rolls pocket back, but it's so cute with a little smiley face and the little pink cheeks, but that is everything that I got, I'm pretty sure. That's everything that I got. And you know what I'm just thinking about now? At Victoria's Secret, you could get, I think you could get like a free tote bag or a free blanket with a $100 purchase. And with everything that I got from Victoria's Secret, including like all the accessories and stuff, it was right at $100. I forgot to use my coupon on my phone. I could have got like a cute tote or something. Oh, well, I probably didn't need that one anyways. They did give me one of the $25 off, $75 purchase, which starts November 30th through December 14th. So I'm definitely gonna be holding on to that and saving it for any new collections. Yeah, you guys, that is everything that I got. I know this is a super long video, so if you made it to the end, Thank you, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know, if you guys have tried any of the new stuff, let me know your thoughts. Or if there's any layering combinations that you've been doing, like with some of these new scents, definitely let me know. Cause I love putting together and making my own little concoctions with all my perfumes. I guess quick little recap of all the new scents. I think overall, my least favorite is the Velvet Petals Candied. I just, it doesn't smell like what it's supposed to. If it would have had that strong caramel note, I would have been all for it, but yeah, this doesn't smell like gourmand to me at all. One of my favorites is the Pure Seduction Cashmere. I just love that sweet berry note. I also, surprisingly, but also I kind of expected to like this one, is the Frost Melt. I just think this is a cute holiday scent. If you want to smell like Thin Mint Cookies, then this is the one here. I actually pretty much enjoyed most of the Cashmere collection. I think this one might be one of the most unique scents, a Santal Berry Silk. So I definitely want to play around with this one more and kind of experiment with different layering combinations. And another one that I really liked is this Berry Spill with the Strawberry Juicy Note. I really enjoyed that one. Overall, I think it's a pretty successful first impressions, but you know, as I begin to actually wear things, my opinions might change, but so far it's looking pretty good. So I'm very happy. And yeah, I guess that's the end of today's video. So if you are not already, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm getting back into it. I'm excited to post more videos and you guys just let me know what you want to see. I will have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below if you guys want to follow me on there also. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.